Okay, question number one, part A. We've been asked to uh, simplify 3x squared minus x minus 2, and this is all over x squared minus 1. So I'll just write that in. Okay, to simplify this, what we've got to say is it's identical to uh, what? Now, the top uh, is a quadratic expression, which I'm sure we'll factorize. So we'll put that in two brackets, like so. That would be a 3x and an x. We need two numbers that multiply together to give minus 2. Uh, looking at where, what we're going to do by placing them in here, uh, it looks like uh, this would be a plus 2, and this would have to be a minus 1. Why? Because uh, we're going to have 3x squared, and then we're going to have minus 3x plus 2x. That's going to give me the minus x that I require, and then plus 2 times minus 1 will give me that minus 2. Okay, so that's the top factorised. We just now need to uh, place it over uh, x squared minus 1. Now x squared minus 1 also factorises to two brackets. This is well-known uh, expression, often referred to as the difference of two squares. This is the square of x, and this is the square of 1. And when you have this, we uh, write x plus 1 and x minus 1. Difference of two squares. What we now notice is that we can cancel out these two common factors of x minus 1. So uh, I'll just cancel them out. x minus 1 into x minus 1 goes once, like that. Uh, and now all we need to do is just write down the final answer, which is going to be 3x plus 2, 3x plus 2 over x plus 1. Okay, that looks like uh, the first part done now. So we'll move on to uh, part B. And in this question, uh, it asks us, hence or otherwise, um, to simplify the following expression. So we'll start with writing it in. 3x squared minus x minus 2. That's all over x squared minus 1. And then we've got this extra term, minus 1 all over x bracket x plus 1. Just extend that line a little bit more. OK, so what have we got? This is identical to. Now, it said hence or otherwise, so we're looking for something that relates to the first part. And as you can see, this first term here, uh, we simplified to 3x plus 2 over x plus 1. So I'm going to write that in, 3x plus 2 all over x plus 1. That goes in. We look at the second term. Uh, nothing we can do to that at the moment, so I'm just going to write that in as minus 1 over x bracket x plus 1. OK, to simplify this, what we now need to do is just put it over a common denominator. So I'll put that common denominator in something that both x plus 1 and x, x plus 1 would go into. Uh, I, I could actually multiply the two together, but uh, that's not often uh, the simplest form. Uh, the lowest common multiple of these two uh, would be an x and an x plus 1. OK, so what do I need to multiply x plus 1 by to uh, get this as the denominator? Simply an x. So I must do the same to the top. So that's going to be x times the top, 3x plus 2. Put that in. Minus, that minus there. And then again, what do I multiply this x bracket x plus 1 by to get x bracket x plus 1? Uh, obviously just 1. I'm going to put that 1 in, 1 times 1, even though that will be just 1. Next, just expand the top. Uh, what's that going to give me now? x times 3x, that's be 3x squared. x times plus 2, plus 2x, and then negative 1. 
and all that will be placed over our lowest common multiple of x, x plus 1. Okay, moving on. I would imagine this is going to simplify. Uh, it's by factorizing. I've got a sneaky suspicion that uh, x plus 1 will be one of the factors in here, so it can cancel. So we'll just uh, try and factorize the top. A couple of brackets all over x bracket x plus 1. So we're looking for two things that multiply together to give us 3x squared. That's got to be 3x and x. I've got a slight clue here because I got a feeling the x plus 1 is going to be the factor that's going to cancel. So I'm going to chance my luck and just put x plus 1. And uh, it would have to be a negative 1 here because two numbers that multiply together to give that minus 1 would be minus 1 and 1. Just check it out. 3x squared plus 3x minus 1x. That gives me the 2x. That's looking good. And then obviously minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. Yes, so our assumption was uh, correct. So I'm going to cancel those out. And then finally, just write in my answer. And that's going to be identical to 3x minus 1 all over x. Okay, that should be it.